wanted some like a treat at Walmart. At, uh, at Walmart. No. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone! Happy weekend! Happy Friday! The weekend is here. There's always fun stuff going and you guys, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna say this early in the vlog, what's happening tomorrow is going to be insane. So you're not gonna wanna miss. It's gonna be really awesome. It's Friday. Last week we learned at Parent Teacher Conferences that we've gotta get ahead of the game on the weekends and make sure the kids are completely caught up on their work because Fridays we've been treating as like kind of a fun play day and while we have loved that, it's been really awesome. We need to do more schoolwork on Friday. The kids have got out their computers. Rex and Hazy don't usually have any additional homework on Fridays, which I've been so grateful for. Kruby and Raigai just woke up just a little bit ago and they are logging in to see what homework they have. Raigai, what do you got here for us, bud? I want my chair. He's just checking it out. Kruby, do you have anything, dude? I think I have two. <laughs> <laughs> two. Two, right? Okay, well, two. if this is two, we need to spend a little bit more time on homework. Right now, Rexy is having some fun with the Orbeez. I love the Orbeez. The kids love the Orbeez. They can be messy if they get out of their bin, put little dinosaurs inside, and have the kids try and find them. It's really awesome for them. They love them. Rexy dropped some of them, so I had to lay on the ground and get them under the table. Yeah, Hazy's been collecting them for us, the ones that fall on the ground. I have my so right here. Yeah, Hazy has a couple of Orbeez that she's designated as her own, huh? Yeah. But I kind of need a big bin because I kind of can't really play with them. Oh, yeah, you need a bigger bowl, huh? Yeah, so can you go get me a bowl, please? Yeah. All right, boys, how's it going? Good. What are we working on? Uh, so I'm doing my nitro type for the day. Tell me about nitro type. What do you have to do? What I have to do is I have to get to a certain level every day. Like I have to level up every day because we're doing like a class challenge who, who does the most typing. Whoa, you could totally win that. Oh, yeah. Right, good. what are you working on? This test thingy, this nonfiction test. Ooh, sounds interesting. You guys are doing awesome. I'm in the middle of getting ready. I had to come down, check on the kids. They're doing great. As soon as Ryler is finished up, he is going to go hang out with his friends today and go to Corn Bellies and have a little bit of fun. We are really trying hard to stick to this Friday schedule and get the kids finishing their homework so that they can play. It's difficult. It requires more effort on our part, but we're trying to make it work, trying to have a good system. I hope that we can have success with it, but right now they're both working on their homework, getting stuff done. Did you get it submitted? Yep. Is that everything? Yes. Okay. If you are completely done, you can go get your shoes on and let's get ready to go. Okay. Good job. Thanks. Hard parenting moment, guys. Ryler was not quite done with his homework, so I made the difficult choice to send him late with his friends. As much as I wanted him to be on time, go hang out with his friends and everything have to stick to my guns and have him finish his homework his friends are just getting to corn bellies so i text the other moms and i said hey brother's gonna be a little bit late trying my best to do what i said i was going to do and stick to my guns brother's gonna go a little bit late today and i think it's gonna pay off i think i'm gonna be happy i did it brother's getting all ready turning his phone on full blast okay you've got what you need yep. okay you're gonna need a mask oh yes i will you're gonna need I'll a mask okay Perfect. I think this is the first time we've ever dropped him off and left. I can't think of another time that I've done this. He's gone with friends, but usually the parents are there. They're there with no parents. He is getting to that age where I feel like he can do a couple of things on his own. He's there, and guess what, guys? I left him without any money. I'm awesome. But here's the thing. One of my best friends, Stephanie, she is there. I called her and I said, will you please give Ryler money? Yeah, she's taking him money right now. She's there. They're there together, which I also felt good taking Ryler because I know that I have a friend there at Corn Bellies that if he needed something, she could help him. Anyways, I just got home. It's lunchtime. I'm I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna make me and Brandon a fun lunch. For today's fun lunch, we've partnered with HelloFresh, one of our very favorites. Guys, this is fun. We're doing a little midday, kind of like a midday date. The kids are all outside playing. It's just us in here, so let's make some delicious lunch. For today, we're making one of their Hall of Fame recipes, Southwest chicken sausage and rice skillet. This one's gonna be amazing. You guys wanna get started right now. You're like, oh my gosh, I have to try this out right now. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code T-I-H-W-V-80, and that will get you $80 off, and you can spread that across five boxes. And that includes free shipping on your first box. Well, let's get cooking. I can't wait to have some good lunch. I am insanely excited to be trying out one of their Hall of Fame recipes today. This Southwest chicken rice skillet is on their Hall of Fame menu. And guys, I gotta be honest, with HelloFresh, we're never worried. We're not sure if it's gonna turn out or be good or not. We've never had a bad one, and that is not an exaggeration. Not once in all the years that we've been doing this, you guys. And so I'm very excited to try one of their Hall of Fame recipes. They do have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so it is honestly no wonder they're always good. But you know with confidence, whatever shows up on your doorstep, whatever you order, if you wanna try something new, if you wanna get frisky and fancy and do something different, you know what's going to be good. What's really fun is we're able to do a date. Okay. 
day day. I mean, you can't hear the kids yelling or screaming anywhere. It's great because we don't usually have a ton of time, but the meals being around 30 minutes or less, it's easy to squeeze in during the day. That's because HelloFresh cuts out all the planning and prepping and all that. It's all done for you and you get to just enjoy the cooking and eating. We joke all the time about how cute these things are, which they are adorable, don't get me wrong. But another benefit that they actually have, these pre-portioned ingredients come with all the HelloFresh meal kits, is that you get exactly as much as you need for the recipe, so there's way less waste. You don't waste anything, you use everything that there is. Right. There's been some recipes where we've done like a fig jam. I can't really say our family would eat fig jam any other time but in that delicious recipe. So bam, it's not wasted food. That's a ton of time out of the prep as well, because you're not going through the kitchen going, do I have a tablespoon of this? Do I need to run to the store really quick to grab a tiny little specific jar Pacific Southwest of seasoning. Southwest Spice Blend. It's all right here, pre-portioned, ready to rock, but it is cute. You know what's really cool too is for this specific recipe, it shows it in a skillet. So if you have one, that's great. But it also says in the notes and in the recipe, if you don't have a skillet, here's a great substitute. One thing that they have in here is what you need to bust out in ways that you can be completely prepped and ready to make dinner. That way you're not wasting your time like running all over the entire kitchen. You get to just have everything here and ready for you. And I wish I could put this into practice every time I cook my own meals, but I don't. I'm like, this is so easy. Kitchen smells incredible right now. One of our other favorite things is the so way the good. entire house just smells so fresh. We've been partnering with HelloFresh now for years. We absolutely love working with them. We love their meal kits. One of the things that's great for us, for our family, is how flexible the HelloFresh program is because you can change the delivery dates. You can skip a week if you need to. And what's even better than that is that you can feed a large family on it. Today, we're just doing one of the small ones that feeds mom and I. But you can also get their larger boxes to feed larger families. And so it's really the perfect flexible fit for all size families. And it's always our favorite meal of the month. <laughs> Brandon will tell you. Butter. There we are. Okay, the house smells amazing. It's time for Bran and I to have a little day date today and eat some lunch. This is going to be so good. I can smell all the flavors coming through it, so I'm really excited, you guys. If you want to try HelloFresh out for yourself, make sure to go to HelloFresh.com and use our code THWB80, and that'll get you $80 off across five boxes and get free shipping on your first box. So make sure to try it out. We absolutely love it. It's been something that our family has just treasured, like the highlight of our month. Should we get eating? delicious, amazing, incredible lunch. Mom has taken off right now. She's doing something very special, preparing for something big, you guys. We've talked about how we are closing in on the million subscriber milestone. We're like 992,000 subscribers. That's TIHWB family members worldwide, you guys. Mind blown. It is insane that we are pushing that milestone. We had great high hopes and plans for an incredible family vacation to commemorate and celebrate that. We had, let's be totally transparent with you, we had planned on spending quite a bit of time in Hawaii for the million subscriber milestone. We were gonna head out there when we hit around 995,000 subscribers and then just stay there to hit a million on the shores of Hawaiian beaches. As you guys know, that is not going down. That is not going to happen. But we think we have come up with probably an even better, more meaningful way to celebrate. And we cannot wait to celebrate it with you guys together. It's going to be a feel good moment for all of us. No doubt you guys. So mom is doing some prep work for that in anticipation of that milestone coming shortly. Dry guy is off at corn bellies with his friends. One of our favorite things to do, a little bit nervous having dropped him off to let him do his own thing. It is that pre Teen moving into teen moment where they kind of spread their wings, fly a little bit, get to do things for the first time. So this is our first time doing that. I think mom mentioned though the Ravellis are on site should anything go down. Plus he's got his phone and other ways to communicate with us. But excited to see some of the fun that he had there today. Okay guys, we're at Corn Bellies. Me and my friends, Gavin here and Rigden. And we're just chilling. <laughs> we actually are on this hayride. We're about to get off. We actually met the Ravellis here. We're just waiting for the chicken, no, the cookie coop to open. What is it called? Cookie coop. Cookie coop to open. No, it's it's they're just so good. For the rest of us here at home, we've got something fun that we're gonna go do. We got some business to handle here. We got some stuff to take care of because these boys have been saving their cash, saving up their money for something special. Hey, so you been saving up your money? No, you keep spending it. You keep spending it on whatever you see on YouTube. I know you. <laughs> okay, so these boys have been saving up for something special. So Kruby Doo's got something he wants to go get at Walmart that he's been saving up for. And Bruxy's got something really cool he's been saving up for that we're probably gonna have to order off of Amazon. But Kruby, tell us what you're saving up for. So I'm saving up for a rib stick. You guys know what a rib stick is? Have you heard of a rib stick? Smash the like button. What, what is it like? How does it work? Real quick before so we go. You just like 
wiggle your back foot and like your front foot kind of goes like that and you just wiggle. So it's kind of like this like, I don't even know, like a wiggle stick. I don't even know what you would call it. It has like two wheels. I've never even been able to stand up on one, let alone ride one. But he wants one of those. So we're going to go pick Can one I of those up from Walmart. Me how to ride one today. You know how to ride one too, Rex? Uh -huh. Okay, this is going to be cool because maybe Crew will be kind enough to let you try out his new one that we go pick up, right? Okay, yeah. and then Hazy, what were you trying to say? I kind of wanted some, like a treat at Walmart. No. <laughs> okay, and then Brexy Doodle, tell us what you're saving up for because a lot of people have been wondering. They've seen Crew save up and buy something. They saw Rai Guy save up and buy something. Brexy, what do you save up? What do you want, dude? Some Healy shoes. I have a favorite that I want. They're like these SpongeBob ones, and they're high top, or I can get the low tops. Yes, and what is so cool about them, in my opinion anyway, is the colors, right? Yeah. Like they're almost like a cotton candy, rainbowy looking and ones. You know what's Cool on the bottom, they have wheels on the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. they're Heelys. So Brexton wants his first pair of Heelys, so we're probably gonna order those up we'll very soon. Pair. Wait, you have another pair? Yeah, but yeah. they were too small. Oh, that's right. Man, these and guys are growing like Rex crazy. Also. Me and Rag, I also have a pair, but they're too small again. Man, you guys just grow too fast. You grow too uh, fast. Can I go? Can I, um, we can also grab a treat there if you <laughs> want a treat, right? No. <laughs> can we? <laughs> yes. So let's load up. Let's go pick up this rib stick, and you're gonna show everybody what it's all about. We just got here and this is where they were. They had three left last time we checked. I didn't think anybody bought these things, but they're gone. Mm -hmm. We're gonna look around, see if maybe someone stashed one up on the side somewhere. I know, they might be at the bike section. Okay, let's go check over there, Hazel. And then if they don't have it here, we might just go hit another Walmart because I know we really want to get one of these today for Kirby Doo. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Guys, oh my gosh. I've been saying it wrong the entire time. I've been saying rib stick and I couldn't figure out what rib had to do with anything. It's a rip stick. Rip stick. The rip stick ripster. There it is. I don't know how this thing works, but you stand on it. There's two wheels underneath, one underneath each side, and you wiggle and it rides. They definitely have a few here. If you guys are looking for them, this is the better Walmart. Only okay. a few though. So dude, let's grab this thing, go Woo! home, and show us how to ride it. We're home now. We've got the rip stick. Remember, it is a rip, rip stick. There are no spare ribs involved. Let's crack this thing open and show us what it's all about. Show me how this thing works. How does this two-wheeled... Wait, you're just on it and going, dude? What? Hold up, dude. How do you make it look so easy? You make it look so easy, dude. I've literally never even stood on one of those successfully before. And you're out here so ripping it. Get it? Rip stick, ripping it. Okay, show me what else. Show me how it works. How it works. Almost able to go like this and just drive backwards. Okay, so show me how, so you, when you first get on it, flip it upside down so everybody can see what we're talking about here. Check this out. It literally has a wheel here and a wheel there. And those are so oddly placed. They spin 360. To stand on that, guys, you got to try it to know what I'm talking about. If you just stood up on it, it just falls right over. There is no balance to it at all until you get it moving. But I can't get it moving. And crew just jumps on and starts going like it's a surfboard. Okay, go. And then to move, you wiggle back and forth. What a crazy contraption. No, you just, what? You just went off the curb? What? Dude, that thing is dope. Well, congratulations, you saved up for it. And I think that you're gonna have a ton of fun on that. Now, you gotta keep your skating up too, though. Did you get a lot better at skating? You can't oh, yeah. suddenly become a rip sticker. You gotta stay a skater as well. <laughs> yeah, I will. Very impressed with Crew and his ripstick skills. Now let's see if Brexy Doodle can jump on here. He said he's been practicing. Crew's been showing him the ways. One thing that I love about Crew, he's very good about learning a new skill and immediately teaching it to someone else. He loves doing that. He was learning a bunch of things about football, football practice, basketball, when we were shooting hoops the other day. First thing he did is come home, grab Brexy, put the gloves on him, and then throw pass out here with him as well, teaching him the things that he had learned. He loves learning new things and then passing them on specifically to Brexy Doodle. There you go, there you go, dude, there you go, there you go, Brexy. Hey, dude, great start, though, great start, bro. <laughs> well, there it is, you got the rip stick. Now, I've been calling it a rib stick the entire moment. It's a rip stick. Rip stick, because you're ripping it out there. Didn't you call Shredding. it a rip stick? I called it rib, as in the thing you eat. Like a mick rib. That's thought, what you're wanting. Oh my gosh, yes. Because I was thinking of it as like a rib, like the way that it looks and tastes is kind of like a rib. Anyways, I've oh never tasted one of those. But we got that, you guys. That guy had a blast at Corn Valley. So much fun. So much fun. The fun. first time we've ever set him off free on his own like that, and he handled like a champ. He's kind of a big kid now. Growing up, guys. He's growing up. We're shutting it down for today. But do not miss tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to be the biggest.
biggest Big. vlog we may have ever done. And then we're gonna outdo it the next week. Just kidding. No. <laughs> this may be the biggest vlog, the most insane thing that we've ever done on this channel going down on Saturday. Believe it. So don't miss it. Subscribe, hit the bell, all the good things. We love you guys. We love you, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Whoa. This Southwest. Southwest? This Southwest. I can't say Southwest. My lips are too dry. <laughs> they don't move. This has to go to out. <laughs> <laughs> the Southwest chicken rice skillet. And today we're making one of their hot. <laughs> <laughs>